<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play Raging Loop. Last time we left off, it was all revealed that the wolves were indeed Mochi and Chiami. So, we saw how crazy she got. Of course we died. Everyone died. Although, there's still a lot of questions to be left unanswered, like, was she always crazy? What was this whole thing about she, uh, Rikako can't take in the corruption because of some pendant she has? There's, I have theories and whatnot, but we'll see what happens. Either way, we went back to the decision here, and instead of choosing give up when we're talking to Rikako the night before, like in our, in our room, uh, this time we're going to say, open the door, persuade. Now, I'm not sure how the hell this is going to, what it's going to do for us, but well, we're going to find out. I suddenly opened the door. Yeah, I did it. Of course I would. I didn't want to see that ending again. Rikako-san was crying. Her voice had been clear and composed, so I had assumed that she wasn't feeling anything. I was wrong. Uh, she was merely hiding it. You promised not to open the door. I intended to keep that promise, but you both, at, you both used it to make me look like the bad guy, so I changed my mind. What's with this aura? Why does it feel like you're trying to be hated because of your past just to make the break breakup cleaner? Is it a Fujiyoshi-ism or something? I rejected tons of bothersome women like Chime Chan in my life, so if it weren't for that situation, I'd be going nuts right now. I'm just about degenerate enough to decide someone like you is too rare to let go. So you should cut it out. Huh? Crap. I overdid it a bit. Well, I have no idea what you're thinking, but hearing all that just made me value you even more. Huh? Huh? I'd have loved to say that she made Chan too, but that'd make me a cheater. So I'll do something else instead. I'll win her over with some weird as hell reasoning and introduce her to a friend of mine. He's a bit more degenerate than I, but I think they'll get along. Wait, uh, maybe Teach would be better for her. If chi chan doesn't mind slightly ugly baldies, she'd have someone really loyal and... Th wow. Uh, Haruwaki-sama, uh, um... I do not think I understand, but why would you tell me like that you like me now of all times? <sighs> like I said, I want to play this by my own rules. I don't want someone else telling me how I should feel. Even if everyone else hates something, I'll happily take it. If you want me to hate you, find a better way to go about it. You're the one who said that you love me, so you better take responsibility for that. You dumb idiot. Rikyaka san's a moron. You alive? <laughs> ah, she finally broke. Huh? What? What was that about? Are you a fool? Yeah, seriously, what's this about? That's my line! Anyway, enough of the personal grudges. Can we consider the bed is still on? The one where we'd win if we survived and could ask the other for whatever we wanted? If we survived, we can ask for whatever we want. And I'm not planning on asking for anything that, that'd ruin it. You are... such a strange person. Serizawa-sama was surely right to call you a bad boy. I didn't confirm nor deny that. Even so, hearing that from you makes me happy enough. I am satisfied. Not good enough. Well, maybe. Adult love wasn't solid enough to play out uh, through just jokes and impro improvisation. Then again, we adults could survive without needing anything fancy. It was a virtue as well as a vice. Please give me your answer when you survive tomorrow. You might be killed by the wolves tonight. You took a, a gamble and revealed yourself to protect Miko and I. If you don't wake up tomorrow, 
it would mean that was that I wasn't worthy of asking you something like this. I'll back off if that happens. Haruwaki-sama. There. I was now at a key point. This tragedy drunk heroine wouldn't be wouldn't die today. It would be the most unfortunate Kiori-san. Honestly, I wasn't sure how to feel about that. But I would test it this once. At the very least, can you grant me one final gift? No. I will survive the night with that with that as my goal in life. It might be imprudent of me, but it makes me happy. I was the imprudent one here. After all, I was making moves on a girl that could die tonight. Anyway, goodbye. Uh, wait. Anything else? I can finally get to the main matter at hand. There's something I'd like to ask you, as a Night Watcher. And I guess we don't hear what he asks her, but okay. It was the day after I did the prep work. I approached the plaza, met up with Yoshisuku-kun, acted surprised when I heard the bad news. And once again saw the remains of poor unfortunate Kiyori-san. I then listened to their brothers opening up, saw them find a letter, noticed the fingers were placed in the same position as last time. This had to be Chiyomi's idea. In this particular timeline, she didn't seem to be anything more than a bloodthirsty madwoman. I felt like she'd been the one who decided that, that destroying the entire body was the way to go, and Mochi didn't hesitate to agree. I'd badly underestimated just how warped that boy's personality was. Poor Mamiya-san. I knew she was an enemy, but I couldn't help but feel sympathy for her. Thus began the Feast of the Yomi Purge. Yosunaga could present a scenario set up by the wolves. I turned it around. Everything was about the same as last time. If I didn't change my words, things would go exactly the same as last time. Of course they would. The people I was talking to were the exact same. Strangely enough, I, I, also, had, I also said the exact same things without, without relying much on memories from last time. Or maybe it wasn't that strange. After all, I had memories in a previous loop, I was the exact same person. If I'd somehow lost the memories of the final moments of the loop, I'd definitely be heading for the same ending right now. But in this case, it didn't matter if everything was the same this time. I could just go with the flow and, and do the same thing as last time. After all, it was already over. That's what they were betting on, I assume. Unfortunately for them, it didn't work. Um... Now, just like last time, everyone focused on Shikamochi, who had a half-smile on his face. That seems really one-sided. I mean, we have no proof that Hassan and Rikchan are what they claim to be. And just like last time, he was bringing up arguments that had already been shot down. And maybe you can actually read Mamikiori's uh, fingers some other way. Mochi. And just like last time, Chimi. That's enough. It's getting cringeworthy. Then, yeah. Oh, I thought maybe he would have done something to take their guns away or something during the feast, but okay. Let's kill them all. They went and did it. They drew the guns from their sleeves. I've been wondering why Mochi was in the school uniform this time, and this made me realize it was to hide the gun. Oh, okay, that, that made me wonder too. I'm like, why all of a sudden you you wear the uh, the uniform? Okay. Although now that I realize it, what did they have when they were sitting in a circle? You know, they have that that image. Did he have his school uniform on, and I just never noticed it? Hmm. The barrels and grips of them were both cut really short, probably for the same purpose. One of them was aimed in our direction, while the other was aimed at Kanzo-san, who was already charging at them. Their intense charge paralyzed everyone except him and Takumi-san, who would now make a move and die to the shotgun blasts. However, that didn't happen this time. The guns didn't fire anything. Hmm, so I guess... Uh, maybe that's what... Maybe that's what uh, uh, Haruaki mentioned when he said he did prep work. But how do you know where the hell the guns were? Well, never mind. A moment after Chimi's expression warped with shock, 
Kanzo-san punched Mochi, while Takumi-san tackled Chiyomi. Ah! Her lightweight body was thrown backwards and hit the wall. Takumi-san quickly grabbed the shotgun, aimed it at the floor, and pulled the trigger to ignite the shell in the other chamber. Once again, the gun didn't fire. He frowned and opened it up, removed the cartridges, and threw them away, along with the gun. Kanzo-san uh, handled his situation a different way. He simply pointed Mochi's gun back at his former master. So you're a wolf. His face swollen due to the punch, he was crouching down, glaring at Kanzo-san. Bring the rope! <coughs> Shit! Let me go! Let me go! Why? Damn it! Takumi-san took advantage of her staggering, pushed her down. She couldn't move at all. Things became a bit disorderly as we tied them up, but now it was relatively calm in here. What the hell was that about? Those words weren't, weren't directed at anyone, but everyone besides me related to him. They're dummies. No, these are dummies. Gatsu-san said, said that while looking at the shells from the shotgun that he'd taken from Mochi. Everyone understood what that meant. You got the wrong ones? No way! Exactly. There was no way the cartridges she checked just yesterday were switched up in a single evening. <gasps> the only one who, with any idea that who was responsible for this paranormal phenomenon was Rikako-san. Last night, I'd asked her to catch Chiyomi and have a catfight with her. R really? Oh. That gave me the time I needed to go into Chimi's room and mess with her equipment. Oh, so that's what they didn't show us. Okay. A lot of it depended on luck, and I needed a couple loops, but I somehow pulled it off. It wasn't fair in the least, but my life was at risk here, and I, and I actually died, so I didn't really care. Everyone continued to talk about how the shells were replaced, but since I decided to stay quiet, they didn't reach a conclusion. Now everyone was left with a harsh truth about these two were wolves who just tried to kill everyone here. Thus, everyone began talking about how to handle them. Nosunaga could suggest that we tied them up and lock them in somewhere. He argued that now that we know that they were wolves, all we had to do was prevent any further murders and uh, was make them unable to move. Kanzo-san uh, was thoroughly against that, suggesting that we instead hang them over today and tomorrow. When asked for his reasoning, he insisted that the wolves had to be hanged and their argument wasn't going anywhere. Most of the Kanzo-san's decisions were influenced by the legend and his own experience, so he didn't have a proper way to deal with a situation this unorthodox. Yasunaga-kun, on the other hand, was bound by conscience and emotions, making Kanzo-san's option acceptable for him, unacceptable for him. That left me no choice but to weigh in. I mean, if we want to follow the exact methods of the... Of the, um, of the game, per se, and to avoid corruption, I can kind of see where Kanzo-san's coming from. We hang one of them now, lock up the other one, the absolutely, so they can't move at all, and then hang them tomorrow. Unless, is, is corruption going to do something about that? I don't know. May I say something? Now... Now everyone, even Kanzo-san, lended an ear to my words. It took too long for me to get to the point. Makashima-san, you believe it's important to kill only one per day and not any more, right? Hmm. Well, Yosunaga-kun just doesn't want to kill them at all. Yes. I, I admit it. Now that the culprits are no longer a supernatural phenomenon, I believe we should leave their judgment to the rule of law. What they did is unforgivable, but we shouldn't be the ones to punish them. We only did a previous hangings because it was an emergency and we had no other choice. Since they aren't a threat to us when bound, we can just leave them like that and wait for the mist to clear. And if it doesn't, we'll be left with no choice but to consider it another emergency and it requires drastic measures. The boy was talking sense, but... First, I'm not so sure binding them would be effective. What do you mean? The Game Master here, Great Lord Shanai, can unlock our front doors. Isn't it, isn't it natural to think he can undo any bindings as well? Hmm. Well, that's... Also, if we can hang one each day, one human would die tonight. They they have no chance of winning, but they take this, they take this kill. No, we wouldn't. Yeah, it's cheat. it's pointless. 
They were so easy to read. Yo, Sonaku-kun, do you want to know why I'm so certain they would kill? Yes, do tell. It's because these wolves are extremely cruel. I walked up to them. Remember Hisako Mamiya-san? She, she suddenly claimed to be the snake on a second day and began acting all strange. She was probably ordered to do it by Chiyomi Sar Sarazawa. There was some noise in the room. Chiyomi was still hanging her head. She probably told Mamiya-san that being a snake was safe. Even though she knew that Kanzo-san was ready to hang anyone claiming. Uh, wait a minute, did I read that? Claiming... Uh... Claiming to be the snake. I totally missed a whole other sentence there. My bad. And it actually led to Taesan, an innocent, getting hanged. You planned that, didn't you? Does it matter? mamiya son then died that night, and that was probably her doing as well. Why would you think that? Because she's an outsider. She couldn't trust her, and it was possible that she's a, she'd, already, she'd readily betray her. It was highly likely that she would have been hanged the next day. Kanzo-san was pushing for it, after all. There were, these two tricked Mamiya-san into being a scapegoat, so she probably didn't trust them and was afraid of them. It was completely possible that she revealed what the, what, who the other wolves were during her hanging. That's why you killed her at night. You basically silenced her. But that would mean they killed two in one night! No. She was subjected to corruption. The wolves must have rules, too. And she went against them. Or rather, was made to go against them by these two. You're just guessing. Whatever. Please deny it, damn it! It's a pain, so I'll just say it. Yeah, he's completely right. Wow, Har Haruaki-san, you're so cool. And Yasukun's even more soft-brained than I thought. Chini. We had our reasons for doing what we did, we had to keep doing it until the end. So stop it with the questions. They're a pain. Chimmy, you damn! Please, stop. I understand how you feel, but that'd be a waste of time. You can't reach an understanding with those who became wolves. Hmm. So what are we doing with them? My suggestion is that we cut off one's limbs and hang the other one. If we do that, the one without limbs won't be able to go around even even if I'm bound, so we'd probably be safe. And if we hang the one tomorrow, the uh, the wolves will be exterminated. Uh, the mist should clear by the day after, and... Fusashi. Yes? What did you just say? I'm saying we should keep one from walking around and, and by using weapons by cutting off their limbs. Huh? What the hell was that? What was up with that? their reaction? Is there a problem with that? You seriously saying we should cut off Chikamochi's or Chimi's limbs? Huh? Uh, yes? Wait, wouldn't that be enough? If we remove them at the base, they, they couldn't even crawl, right? You really are a fucking lunatic! Huh? That is way too cruel! Huh? I understand they are wolves, but that is... A step too far. What? Fusuyuki-san, you're scary. Why? But Rikako-san, wouldn't would cutting off their limbs make us targets of the corruption? I have not heard of anything that implies that. Excuse me, aren't you the ones who hanged a couple people just because of the history and legends? But we we put them to rest. I've heard that hanging is actually a really painful way to go. Even if it wasn't, they would be—they were being lynched because of a popular vote. That alone has been utterly terrifying. The wolves murdered so cruelly, yet you're all acting like this. You're all pretty good natured, aren't you? Wait, that's a good thing, isn't it? Humane? Oh, I see. They all fell silent. But even I could understand that there was something within them that made them adverse to my idea. Can we break the limbs instead? The effect would be the same, right? Or perhaps Nosato sensei could poison them in a way that would make them die right, right about tomorrow? Stop it! I can't ensure they would survive that! The shock from the pain alone might kill them! And I happen to be a doctor! I cannot poison! I... We're not like the wolves! I see, I see. Yeah, I understand. 
I seem to have misunderstood you all. What now, though? I guess someone's dying today. This was such a pain. Why did they argue against my suggestion if I if they had none of their own? If it must be done, I shall take it upon myself. No, I'll do it. Don't push yourselves. We mustn't do that. Stop it, you all. We, we can still think this through. It's fine. That's enough. I'll die myself. Can you hang Mochi first? No one should get the corruption, then. Wow. <laughs> Clear-headed until the end, huh? Huh? What are you planning now? I don't want to get my limbs cut off. Even wolves are afraid of some things, huh? All right, I'll apologize to Haru-chan when I get to her. You're not going to the same place as her. Hmm? I'm not? The Rik-chan. The hanged are saved. The ones killed by wolves are not. You want to switch? I don't care enough. It's fine. Regardless of the way, it'll be over once you die. So I'll take it upon myself to kill you. Why did this have to happen? Just because? What's that supposed to mean? Mm, I don't really get it. But I felt like we had no choice. Yo, so now I got eBay punch Ch Chikamochi Kamashita. Sorry, Yasun. I really am. Sorry. Rise not! <laughs> Yosunaga kun pushed him forward. A moment later, a rope went taut. It shook for a moment, then slowly swayed back and forth, and finally stopped completely. Yosunaga kun cut the rope. From the mist below, I heard a sound of something soft collapsing, then hitting the shallow water below. You're next, Chiyomi. Alrighty. Isn't this the same as directly killing her? Who knows? Shinai-san or whatever will be a judge of that, right? You're gonna die just like that? Without even saying sorry or anything? Yeah, that's the kind of girl I am, right? You knew that from the time I almost killed the brats in Kamafujiyoshi, didn't you? Well, I went on to act like a good girl after the fool- after that. Fooled you good, didn't I? How's it feel? I knew what kind of guy Mochi was and kind of used it to control him. <laughs> Don't get mad at him, okay? It's all my fault. Hate me all you want. Looking backwards, she stepped up to the cliff. Congrats, Rikako-san. The obstacle's out of the way and it looks like it's all, it'll all work out, doesn't it? That is not what the Feast of the Yomi Purge is about. We, who live with the mountain, have been given a burden and we must bear and pay respects to it for all eternity. I am here to simply take in that burden. Then, if I'm born again, I'll come and kill you directly this time. You're the last of the spiders, aren't you? Go have some descendants, teach them whatever grand nonsense that taught you, and wait for me to come get you. There's no need to be like that. Shut up! I'll kill you now! Joking. See ya. Jimmy. What? What is God? Her people's instance instantly shrunk. See, and the thing is, too, remember, how she got like. Now, last loop. Like, she. After, like, Rikakusa mentioned about, you know, she can't take in the corruption from her, and she was, like, chasing, I guess, God? I. Th th that's what I was really confused about. I knew it. You really are the scariest thing here, Haruaki-san. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. Thank you. Thank you all so much for letting me kill myself. She took three steps back. You have no idea how scared I was when I thought my limbs were going to get cut off. Seriously. Haruaki-san, if only we were wolves together. I don't want that. <laughs> uh, she's crazy again. See ya! She turned around and ran, as fast as possible, into the mist. 
and jumped. Rise not. I'm going. I alone turn around. Huh? But you still haven't... I didn't want to hear it. She'd probably fall into a world different from ours, and I got the impression I wouldn't hear a sound. I didn't want to listen to the echoing silence. We then went up to clean up kiyori -san's body. After spacing out a bit, we all went up, we all cut up some veggies and then ate them uncooked. It was hard to make it a fi make a fire in a mist, and as people as Fujiyoshi, no one felt like using fires other than the ones in the watering hole. And everyone was adverse to using the dining hall. Thus, everyone went to sleep. Well, no. For the first time since the feast began, none of us could sleep. Morning came without us getting any rest. And the mist was gone. No one had died, of course. Everything was, it was as the legend said. With the y Yomatsu Okami gone, peace came back to the human village. However, it was hard to celebrate it. Yudai Hashimoto, Tei Yamawaki, Hisako Mamiya, Haru Makashima, the old man who cried wolf, Kiyori Aribe, Chikamochi Kamoshida, and Chiyomi Serizawa. A whole eight people died. Even if two of them were outsiders, the settlement had suffered great losses. Everyone had an aversion to using fire to dispose of any remaining objects that carried signs of murder, so it was decided that we, they would be buried. The tatami, the floorboards, the futon, all of it. We also ended up making new gravestones for those we had lost. The Kakosan had told us that the graveyard near the hanging pine was full of the feast, the feast of victims, so there was nothing under the stones. So, has he passed away or something? Yes, it was a peaceful death. Yeah, we don't know about the Gansan, whatever. Eh, whatever. Those who died normally would be buried at the crematorium in Kam Kamafujiyoshi, run by the Haiguchi, then buried here. Those who didn't would be thrown into Saranaga and simply... vanish. Making sure no one saw me, I went down to Saranaga. There was nothing. No corpses or belongings. Just like last time, Saranaga was just a thin, shallow stream. However, I did find one thing. It was a pendant, the Yomatsu Okami symbol on it. So yeah, that's... Is that the one that... Chimi was wearing? And frankly, it's the one in the main the main title of the game. Uh... Yeah, the, the, very, the very main title of the game, and actually, let me see if I go back here. It's right here, too. Uh, it's... Like the... The PlayStation intro thing. Hmm. Okay, the signs were there. What was this? Was someone wearing it? What did it mean for someone in Fujiyoshi to wear something like this? At this point, I didn't feel like investigating it anymore. Was that strange? No. I felt like they were. that was just how things were. Days passed of us working on this and that. We somehow survived thanks to the food from the fields, and right as we were finishing up our work, help finally arrived. Kamafujiyoshi sent some people to remove the landslide blocking the road, and then they'd, they'd finally make, made it. <laughs> oh, you. Are you all well? It's been a while since I saw Shoji Haiguchi. He looked as friendly as always. Shoji, what took you so long? We wanted to work faster, but we had some unexplainable accidents while trying. We were only we were only able to make progress after the mist cleared. So, is everyone all right? No one answered. Higuchi should be should be lo began looking sympathetic and started giving some orders to his people. Eventually, we were brought to Kamfujiyoshi and we were made to spend a few days like refugees in some community center. Apparently, this was temporary. The village had said they needed time to clean up Yasumisu after the disaster. I really appreciate the three, da three daily meals they gave us from the nearby watering hole, and sleeping in a place without any mist at all was pleasant. The food was strangely fancy, and the people bringing it seemed somewhat humble. They'd always looked down on the people of Yasumisu, but now that we stopped the Yomi invasion, they actually revered us. 
That was just a guess, though. I still, I still, I was still locked up in here with, with nothing to do. One day, I actually got to see the officer. I actually felt kind of nostalgic at this point. Oh! Oh, you're alive! Oh, that's great! This is yours, right? It's no, no use to us, so take it back already! My bike. The weeks of exposure to the elements had left it looking really shabby. I had nothing better to do, so I decided to clean it. We're almost done restoring Asumiso, so you'll, you'll be able to return soon. Fusashi-san, why not drive far away for a change of pace? I actually wanted to return to Yasumizu, though. When I told Takumi-san that I'd, I'd take Miko to the police once everything was settled and then return, he told me that I didn't have to. Rikako-san said she'd help him work the fields, and he accepted it. Kanzo-san fixed his rifle and began hunting again. yasunaga couldn't resume going to school. Yoshisuku-kun moved to the dorm and said, and said he'd start going to school again, too, joining his brother. Ki Noskishi would, as planned, become a part-time doctor at Kamafujiyoshi's clinic. When Kanzo-san returned from our shelter, Ki Noskishi actually looked after him like a proper doctor, which was some impressive character development. Anyway, since it all seemed to be fine here, Takumi-san told me that I didn't have to return. Well... I can't say I, didn't, I don't have stuff for you to do, but you have a place to return to, right? I really wouldn't blame you if he didn't come back. But keep in mind that you have a woman waiting for you here. And honestly, I'm not sure I want to do nothing but farm with her. <laughs> I'll be back after I'm done with some business. I did consider returning to the life I had, but I figured I should stay here instead. Well, I guess I'll see you then. Your turn. Huh? <gasps> She was behind. She was hiding behind that tree, with her pale skin turning rosy. She became. She meekly walked up to me. M -m -m Miko, stay in good health. Hey, what about me? Oni-chan, you're supposed to talk to Fu Fusayuki-san. Even she understood that. Uh, even even she understood it. <laughs> How precor precocious of her. Pre precocious, I should say of her. Haruaki-sama, please. Stay in good health. I assumed that the fact she wasn't che uh, cheating, like she wasn't, uh, I'd assumed that the fact she wasn't cheating like this, like this, like our final meeting was a step forward. But no, I wouldn't let it fly. I didn't survive just to say goodbye to you. You know those words aren't good enough for me. Please, come visit every now and then. She was so persistent. She sure was persistent. <laughs> You're being a sore loser right now, Rikaku-san. We're close enough to call each other by name. If you just take one more step forward, I might decide to do something big. There are a lot of things I wanted to give to her and take from her. I was sure I'd find happiness if we made proper exchanges. After all, that was the sole light I'd ever seen in that dreadful mist. I wouldn't give up on it, no matter what. Haruaki-sama? Yes? Because I would be lonely. Yes, you've been lonely your whole life. Because I love you. Yes, we weren't even allowed to love anyone. And because this is all new to me. Yes. For the first time ever, you saw your own happiness. Please, come back to me. Mm? I couldn't control myself. Whoa, you're showing off, huh? Kissy! I let her go, and she looked up at me with angry eyes. She'd become a lot more expressive, and I found it nothing if not lovable. I would live out the rest of my life with her. This journey brought me to something unexpected and led to a really happy ending. I promise. Once I deal with everything outside, I will come back here. Please do. Then it'll be my turn to say something. I understand. I shall believe and wait for you. Borrowing Haiguchi's help, I got everything I needed, secured Miko behind me with a children's belt, and left Fujiyoshi. Upon arriving in the closest city, I presented her as a lost child. They asked me questions, of course. 
I omitted some things, but didn't lie at all. They thought I seemed shady, but I was able to prove my identity and they let me off. Bye bye, Fusayuki san! She waved, all smiles. She still couldn't get my name right. This reminded me that nothing that happened to Yasumizu had drawn police attention. I had no idea who had done or didn't do what to, what to make it turn out like that, but I didn't care anymore. It was just the way it is, or the way it was. What was up with the looping business anyway? Was killing the wolves a condition for ending the loop? If that was the case, then it was caused by something that wanted the wolves to lose no matter what. There's no other explanation, Fit. Who would, who would that be, though? Great Lord Shinai? That fit the story, but it often seemed like he didn't have a horse in the race. Also, if his only way to help the humans was to give out the Guardians and send me, then he was a seriously bothersome god. Would I go back in time if I died now? I didn't even care to try, not to mention the situations in which you could easily die were the abnormal ones. Also, I'd actually left the village this time. That made the current situation different than any, than any so far, and it was best to assume I wouldn't loop again. That was probably just the way it was. I stayed in the city for a while and contacted certain people, telling them that I would, be, I would now be a farmer in a remote village. They got me, that got me in some serious trouble, but Yasumisu got no service anyway, so it wasn't like they could do anything about it. I cut ties with my previous life in three days, then entered a jeweler's store and bought the ring with the nicest design. It had a gem as red as her eyes, covered in gems as clear as her hair. It wasn't particularly expensive, but I thought it suited her better than any of the others. Then, just as I promised, I returned to Fujiyoshi. I went to the officer, talked to Haguchi-san. I passed the mountain path. Arrived at Yasumizu. And... Saw something I couldn't believe. Yep. There's no way, there's absolutely no way this would have been a happy ending. They can't. Why? Why was everyone dead? Why was Yosunaga Aribe dead? He survived after saying goodbye to his best friend and the girl that was like a sister to him, didn't he? Why was Yoshisugu Aribe dead? He would made it through his mother's death, found common ground with his brother, and had his whole life ahead of him, didn't he? Why was Kanzo Makashima dead? He'd lost his granddaughter, protected Yasumisu, and was about to live out his twilight years in peace, wasn't he? Why was Takumi Muro dead? The likable guy had discarded his inner discord, believed in himself, and helped bring us to victory, hadn't he? Why were all their heads split open? It, it was supposed to be over. We ended it all. That was how it was supposed to be, right? I begged. I hoped that someone was still alive. If no one was, what would have been that point of the, those sacrifices? Oh, oh, oh. Found one. A survivor. He was covered in blood. And held an axe covered in blood and gray matter. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the wolves are coming. <laughs> I then went to, went on to murder him. After all, on one of the support beams in the hall that I found him in. Jesus Christ. I do not like this image, but hold on really quick. I, I don't mean for you guys to look at this more, but... I'm trying to look at- look! I do not like Harusaki's eyes. Look at Kiyonosuke, she- oh my god. Was her body hanging- hanging helplessly? What the hell? What was this all- well, what was all this? Why had I thought that I had it all in the bag? Everything- every, everything was dead. Everything was lost. And- I hadn't reached an end yet. Shinai-san's guardians are... 
The outside was shrouded in mist. One snake, two monkey, three crow, four spider. As though I led by, as though led by something. Five people for the people for the feast when the evening mists arrive. I pass the empty plaza. Six. The badger runs along late with Nair as a fix. Nare went down the barren hall hill. Seven. The corrupt Yamabito rise to oppose the mountain. Did you come to see me? I'm so happy. Eight. Death of the damned Yamabito is the mandate. Did you believe that you could all you could escape? Fall, rise, rise again and again. Wait, is that Chimi saying that? Nine. One soul per day now to bind. Ten. The mists rise away again. As I threw myself into Saranaga's mists. No! Haruwaki-sama! I felt like I could hear her voice. Rikaku-san. I couldn't fulfill my promise. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Please don't cry for me. I couldn't make you happy. I couldn't do anything to help you feel normal happiness. I couldn't dispel the darkness of Fujiyoshi. And I couldn't even get close to the core of the mystery surrounding it. How? What could I have done here? I needed a new path. I had to find one that would lead me to the truth. Region Gulp. <laughs> wow. Um. Yep. That all happened. Who? Uh. Well, at least we got another main ending. And I, I just knew, absolutely knew, there was no way they were going to uh, let us off of a happy ending. Not when we had so much left to discover, or s still many mysteries to solve. There's no way. Did I expect it to happen like that? No. Like what? We, we have, how many days of peace did we have? A week? Maybe two? Like, they said some days passed by, they were doing some stuff, and I left for at least three days. I mean, let's we'll just say a minimum of a week. And that was it. Craziness happens, it happens again. I... I don't, I don't know, I, I'm a little bit confused. Like, did he... Did Chimi survive? Wait, what is this? Le Jing Le Bu? Paradisco Babylon. What the hell does that mean? Oh my god. Unbelievable massacre. Yeah, you got that right. Reached ending number two and obtained the key raising loop. This is key number 16. Oh, I know where we can use this. Um. But let me double check here. Let's see what. Ending number two. Watch hint corner? Uh, sure. But I know, I know where this one's at. This one's actually, uh, I think we're talking to Hashimoto. What with the whole thing with the prefab? Hey, Chief, and uh, congratulations, I guess. This marks the end of the main route. Wait, so many ups and downs, but in the end, all the wolves are wiped out. Isn't that great? What's that? Too depressing. Yeah, I figured. But what can you do? There were still plenty of mysteries left, even after you won the feast. So with that said, it's time for a fresh start. Prepare yourself for the next one. Wedding 2. A wedding celebrated by all. That was yet another outcome you were bound to see. Be proud of yourself, Chief. As for where you use key number 16, it's actually not so obvious. No, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's right there. Decide arrangements. You know, the lock choice where you were going to talk about where the two journalists would sleep? Through that, Hisako Mamiya and Haruaki Fusashi participate in a feast. Uh, changing things greatly. Aim for that too. Uh, aim for that next time too. In the next route, in the next true route, darkness. That old cameraman who, who died at the start every time so far will finally join the feast. 
How will that change things? Well, why the hell are you spoiling things? This is to be a hint, not a spoiler, sheep. Though you might getting a though you might be getting a rather ominous feeling about the next route from the name Darkness. Don't lose, Chief. Y yeah, thanks. Uh Wow. Okay. I I guess I'm I'm thoroughly surprised with how the game's been kind of coming about now. Um How many keys are still I think we're still missing keys. Yeah, 1 3, I think 8 and 9. And then 17 through 19 or 17 through 20, I should say. So key 16, by determining the wolves and preventing a fatal rampage, the humans safely achieve victory. The mist cleared and a feast ended. All those left for me to do was propose to the woman who loved me. Or so I thought. Everything returned to ash. Yasumizu was engulfed in mist again, and it seems I looped. The basic problem remains unsolved. I must solve all the mysteries. But how? So my major thing is like so we now know that we know for sure the three wolves were uh Mochi, Mamiya-san, and Chiyomi. So that meant like with the old man just lying straight up saying that he was a spider, he was the badger. But there is one thing I'm I'm wondering about now and it's it's all it's all related to the old man. I, there has to be way more to him. There has to be. And what I'm curious about is like any time he was chosen to be hung, which is twice now, he said the same thing. He's like, I got to get my things. Let me get my things. Why? And what are the things he's looking for? I'm really, really curious about that. But besides that, um, the next thing we have to do Man, look at that. Still ends in, in crappiness. Even if I, you know, this whole thing with she and me or even here. Nope. Just terrible. But um, on this route, no, not that one. Not that one either. I thought there was something else here we could we couldn't do. Oh, yeah. How to pass the time. We need key 20 for that. And this is before anyone... No. This is Feast 2-1-2. Two, two. I thought... With this one, I... No, Hashimoto... He he was killed here. I believe. I believe... I believe yeah, I believe Hashimoto was, was killed. And that was it. And then... I guess because of this folklore, I think this is where we were talking. We were all in the dining hall, and Mami Asan was saying something. So I wonder how the hell what that's going to lead to. But obviously, the big one is uh, I'm curious about this, saying we're all set, but this is obviously where we need to go deciding the arrangements about where the hell we would sleep. So. There you go. Now, by... And this is before anything has happened yet. You know, the mists haven't arrived. Nothing. We just need to figure out where the hell we're going to sleep. So, I'm thinking by going down this route, everything's going to change again, right? It's not going to be the same wolves. It's not going to be the same guardians. We're going to go through a whole nother set. And frankly... I have, to make the game interesting, I really wouldn't be surprised if, because, okay, I'm trying to think about this. We went one route where we didn't even participate in a feast whatsoever, right? So, Harawaki Har didn't do anything. And then the second route, main one, he was a snake. Okay. So, what will be the next major shift? I'd imagine that he himself would be a wolf. Now that would be insane. But I think but I'm thinking with all with that all information 
we would be able to go back to a certain timeline to fix everything before any anybody dies. That is my main goal, and I'm hoping that's going to be the main thing here, is that nobody has to die, and we just end this freaking curse forever, whatever hell it may be. But that is going to be for another time. I, I'm not. I don't, I don't think I'm exactly at an hour, but this has been a perfect time to end. And next time, ladies and gentlemen, we'll begin this new path called darkness, I believe, and take things from there. So, as usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time for Let's Play Raising. Excuse me, Raging Loop. Love you all so much. Have a great day.